Hello everyone, this is Smoke Slow. Uh, about UFOs and their propulsion system, uh, element 115, Bob Lazar spoke of the UFOs and uh, these magnetic amplifiers underneath the uh, UFO he was allowed to back engineer. Uh, just basically take two magnets and uh, you have most of the system. Now, you take element 115, and uh, also if you want to keep in mind that uh, guitar amplifiers and uh, stereos, for instance, uh, they have uh, uh, gra graphic equalizers, I'm sure most of you uh, are familiar with them. Uh, those amplifiers, they give them different names, uh, your different brand amps. Uh, I'll take one for instance, custom amplifiers back in the, the mid 60s had these two channels called, uh, uh, just a minute there, they were called, uh, oh geez, anyway, they were basically phase shifters. If you want to take another amp, that's what they were called, phase shifters. Uh, now, if you're able to mix, like I say, mix in this element 115, uh, and basically, you know, basically take both uh, magnetic elements and uh, really uh, bomb them against, against the, each other. Uh, John Lear also spoke of this. He was uh, he did a 15-part interview with George. Uh, George Knapp on Coast to Coast uh, AM. He's on here uh, you, uh, on uh, YouTube. So it was uh, uh, Bob Lazar. He did a 12 part series. But uh, basically, if you take that element 115, uh, you're able to, uh, I don't know for sure, but you're able to, you know extremely you know distort uh, you know the magnetic properties and uh, gravity of the earth and wherever you're at basically you're able to either uh, pull pull towards it or go against it okay now they also found that uh, to uh, with messing with uh, element 115 trying to bring it to 116 uh, it became extremely unstable. Uh, they didn't really get into the uh, specifics about that, but uh, keep that in mind and keep, you know, just like I say, uh, take two magnets and you basically got the uh, most of the uh, propulsion system of uh, these UFOs. They're, they're these people that speak, you know, John Lazar, uh, Bob Lazar, John Lear, and uh, George Knapp, George Neary, okay, uh, there are many other people. They're, they're all re they're all way past acknowledging the uh, presence of uh, aliens and UFOs. And Bob Lazar, if you look him up under, you know, what I, I just spoke of, you'll see that uh, they're, they're way beyond, you know, acknowledging uh, the presence of UFOs and aliens. Now, UFOs have wanted to trade us uh, high, high technology for uh, human humans that they could uh, basically uh, dissect in st bad, strange ways. Uh, here's another thing, too. Back in the real, you know, early days there with the pyramids and stuff like that, keep this in mind. Um, when they spoke, when they spoke of uh, the uh, pyramids on, like you know, the Discovery Channel and History Channel stuff like that, they spoke uh, of the point uh, where you couldn't even slip a credit card in between the cracks of building these pyramids. You know, the blocks, the blocks that make up the pyramids. You can't, you can't slip a credit card in between the the blocks. They're made that smooth. Now you're telling me you're gonna go back what? How many th thousands of years? 
And not only that, but also these figures laid out on the ground that were so gigantic, is the only word I can think of right now, that they could only be recognized and viewed from the air. Okay? And also these uh, these runways. Uh, I, I personally have a problem with uh, UFOs and runways. For some reason, that just doesn't jive. You know, they should just be able to set down, and that's that. You know what I mean? Straight up and down. None of this comes sliding in or whatever, with wheels and that. I don't think they'd have the need for that. But other than, you know, that, uh, you know, these pictures from, uh, you know, put on the ground, as I say, uh, that were so large, you, you could only visit, the, you know, view them from, you know, from space. And uh, there was, you know, four or five thousand years ago, there was no, uh, there was no such thing as, uh, you know, flying, flying things that we made, you know, the human race made. So also keep that in mind, too. But, uh, one more time, I just bring up the magnets and like, you know how uh, if you turn them just right, they want, definitely want to come together. You, t you flip one over again, either one, and they push apart. Now this element, one, 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 five, one fifteen, is possibly the, uh, is able to manipulate the, uh, the you know, the magnetic qualities of these, you know, these items are actually, I'm thinking more of like uh, within uh, uh, the atmosphere, which is uh, always got juice flying through it, you know, electricity and, and magnetism and that. They even had things on the uh, news once in a while about uh, mag uh, people getting cancer and stuff like that, living near high tension uh and high power uh, towers, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, it's throwing off uh, electricity and uh, magnetics and stuff like that. So, uh, I'll let you go again and uh, stay in touch. Uh, you know, uh, my uh, point here is uh, POPOFF999 and. Uh, I'll keep staying in touch with you. Uh, the UFOs are for real, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I could go into deeper depth on, depth on the situations, but uh, I'll leave it where it is right now. Okay. Anybody interested, uh, at least thank you for checking out my video. Uh, really appreciate it. Later. Smoke slow. Out.